Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Monday, Magical Monday. My name's Liz and this is Guided by Angels. And it's not just Monday, it's the start of a brand new month. We're into May and May is bringing in challenges and power. So any chaos you go through during May is working for you. So breathe through it and know that this too shall pass when you follow your heart. It's okay to follow your heart. So we're going to use the Earth and Sky Oracle today. This is a great deck. I've used this today for members and in the feminine reading. I'm also going to bring in the Crystal, I think this is the Crystal Power Tarot, or it's one of Jane Wallace's decks anyway. I'm going to connect, yeah, Crystal Power Tarot, really powerful. And I'm going to bring in a deck by the amazing Gabrielle Bernstein, Super Attractor. So let's see what you need to know. So thank you, angels. Jump straight out on the camera there. And I've got a few cards also sticking out. Very powerful. Here we go. So we're going to do those first. There's also a card moving at the back of the deck. So this is a really powerful deck. It's actually Georgie's deck. And I've borrowed it for these readings today. So I feel there's going to be some powerful messages coming through. And some powerful energies coming through here again. The cards are just moving around here. Lots of cards coming out. And what energy are you in today and what are you dealing with as we start this brand new week? Thank you, angels. What do we need to know today? Jumped out the deck. One sticking out. The other's jumped on the camera there. So everything's jumping forward in your life right now. Lots of changes. I've got two cards moving on top. So let's see what you need to know. So the first card is the rat. So what I'm actually feeling with the rat is that this is about healing all the guilt and all the insecurities and pain around the things you've done you know the way you've behaved you may feel like you've been a rat before you know that you've hurt your divine feminine you may have said things that you don't mean you've caused problems and you know you felt at times like you are small you know that you are a small thing like you don't deserve their love because of all the things that you've done so this is actually you feeling guilty and you healing that guilt, forgiving yourself and also coming forward to, you know, ask for your feminine's forgiveness too. But what I'm actually seeing there is those steps ahead may seem huge to you. You may feel like you've got big steps to take or big shoes to fill to be enough for your feminine, but you can absolutely do it. And you're being given all the planning and all the processing that you need, all the time to do that and all the ideas to create the way because you may be feeling very creative. You're trying to work out or invent a way to move forward. You know, thinking, how can I get to the next step of my journey? How can I get there? It seems so high. And this is about, you know, climbing that mountain. And when you feel uninhibited and free in your mind, anything can happen and anything is possible. And the angels are reminding you today that love will win. Your love will win. That you are elegant and good looking. So this is reminding you to remember your power. Whether you are a guy who is good looking or you are a woman who is very elegant and beautiful. You have absolutely what you need to be the right person for your feminine to be the right person for your twin and you don't need to be greedy with this love or gossip about it because you know it's real and if you felt that you know your feminine has been greedy wanting your love it's only because you felt guilty because you haven't been able to give him or her what you, d you know they deserve so feminine's cross watch you know relax and breathe because this is about moving to the next step together and there could also be gossip around, you know, that could be from a karmic partner, it could be around at work, maybe you're worried about taking the next step because you're worried about people gossiping about you and thinking you're a bad person because you already think that within yourself and that's what you're healing. We've got the four of pentacles, I trust I am always safe and protected and you are, so as you move towards this new step in your life, as you take the risk and be bold and make that first move and, you know, really take action, you are protected and you are safe. All you have to do is let go of the struggle and go forward fearlessly. Let go of the struggle and focus on peace. So you can use that affirmation today, I trust I am always safe and protected. 
So you can use it as a whole affirmation. I trust that I am always safe and protected. Or you can say, I am safe. I am protected. I trust. And that will do the same thing. It will move things forward for you. We've got the penguin. Now, the penguin is a huge symbol of power because when we get the penguin, it's about breakthroughs. And we've had the bee coming through for the feminine today, which is all about miracles and miracles in communication. And you're showing your feminine today that you're standing strong and proud like that penguin there. And you're going to move this forward. So breakthroughs are coming in. And you feel the power of this because of the soul connection. You feel this because you know that you are faithful and monogamous. You want to be faithful to your twin. You want to be monogamous with your divine feminine. You want to adapt to the environment around you. You want to take excellent care of them and excellent care of yourself. So this is really about you doing the right thing. And we've got the Ace of Wands. I am inspired to follow my passion. And the Ace of Wands is action. So the penguin is a great symbol of action. That you're being guided. Can you see that there? You're being guided to take action towards the things that you are passionate about. To move forward, to break through the chaos and make those changes. You've also got the wasp. So it isn't easy because you make you feel angry. You know, you feel angry at yourself. You feel angry about the things you've done. You know, you feel volatile about things because... You want to make up for it so badly. And we've got the, the rose coming in here as well. So, you know, you want to apologize for the things that you've done. And you're being guided to be strong because you are a warrior. And when you grasp that and you grasp that energy within your own mind, anything is possible for you. You can be fearless against any opponent. You can stand up for what you believe in. And beware of enemies, you know, people who are trying to knock you down, hold you back, keep you stuck in a situation. And also you may be feeling it, finding it or feeling that it's difficult for you to communicate or you're finding it hard to communicate. So you may be getting very angry at yourself. So if you're seeing wasps, that's why. Different than the bee. Okay, feminines, if you're seeing wasps, it's about anger. Okay, it's not good to see wasps because they're angry. It's about anger being released. If you've seen bees, that's a good thing because they are bringing in a miracle. So masculines, what you're saying is, I need to make a decision. I need to make a decision. And that's why you're feeling angry because you need to just make this decision already and go for it and speak your truth. So if you trust your ability to make a strategic decision, you'll make the right one. And that decision is to come forward and apologize to say, I'm sorry for the things I've done. And the smell there is about the things that remind you. You know, you recollect your connection with your feminine or certain times you've shared through smell and memory. Fragrances that are very pleasing to you that bring in those pheromones. And they can be the scent of your feminine's perfume or your masculine's, you know, I say masculine's, aftershave because I feel that this is also what feminines are tapping in with because you're both watching masculines are watching this reading feminines are watching this reading but you're also feeling the smell of a success you can feel it and you also sniff out danger you know when it's the right time to reach out and you know when it's the wrong time to reach out and the angels are saying to you trust in your ideas and your direction seven of pentacles creating what you want so trust your idea to send that rose or to apologize or do the right thing because it's direction from heaven you're being guided and you're also dealing with your own fear the darkness and the light so it's about aligning with the energy so you feel more balanced within your state of mind so you're able to connect with your own self and discern what the truth is, to set your own boundaries, to speak your own truth, to face your own fears. And the feminine is guiding you, guiding you forward. And definitely there she is. Look, I love how I'm doing this. They're guiding me how the cards are. They're guiding me to turn them around like this. So the Queen of Cups is saying, I am trusting you to do this. So feminine, you know, you're trusting your masculine to do this, to Find that strength within them to overcome their fears and worries and reach out to you. And you're being guided here towards the feminine's light. 
I trust my knowing and follow my heart and the heart will lead you to your divine feminine, will lead you to where the adventure is. Look at this, the goat, the goat is about adventure. It's about power, it's about movement forward. And this is Capricorn energy too. It may mean something to someone, but I'm not connecting with this sign Capricorn. Even though I have done a Capricorn reading, I think that's what I'm sharing today. That came out the other day. So if you are a Capricorn, there'll be an extra reading on there for you. I'm pretty sure I've done one, an almost personal reading for you that I'm actually sharing with you today. But check that out on the channel. But this is about self-control and discipline. Doing what's right. You know, do what's right for you, not what's right for your karmic partner or for your children. Do what's right for you. Because when you do what's right for you, it will be the right thing for your karmic partner. It will be the right thing for your children because you'll make changes that bring happiness in for all. And you have to discipline yourself sometimes, especially where there's materialism and status. If you're dealing with fears around what people think or changing your lifestyle or losing money or worried about what people think, it can be very challenging. And you have to forgive yourself. You may think people may not forgive you. You may think your karmic partner may not be able to forgive you or your kids may not be able to forgive you if you move on. But you know it's the right thing to do because you're being guided. So actively hold true to your values. Wow. So stand up for what you believe in. Actively, that means you speak your truth. You say what's on your mind. You do what's right. And you actively hold true to your desires. And that's going to bring in power. And the angels are saying that you are truly manifesting what you desire. True manifesting is about receiving what is for the highest good of all. For the highest good of all, that means it will be good for you, your feminine, the world, because you are a light worker and a healer and a leader. And it will be good for your kids. It will be good for your karmic partner because your karmic partner will meet someone who can love them better than you can. And your kids will feel more peaceful because you feel better within this situation. So you are manifesting your dreams and that's what you're doing. You have a vision. I focus on what I want and I make it happen. And if you've seen 11.11, that's why. Because the angels are opening you up to this truth. That you are manifesting your dreams. Look at this. Manifesting is the creative process of alignment of aligning with the energy of the universe to co-create my experiences, your experiences, that elevate your spirit and the spirit of the world. So you're manifesting together. And when you're patient, the universe will do it. So when you're patient, you let the universe do for you what you cannot do for yourself. And that's also a huge message for the family in that when you're patient, the universe will do for you all the things that you want. You don't have to try or force or go against the current. Just allow the nature of love, the true love nature to shine. Look at this. When I'm in a state of gratitude, appreciation, love, I am in a vibrational state of mind that is in alignment with who I am. My true love nature. And you may see birds together today is a big sign of love. That this is the true love nature. The true nature of this is love. And this is true love. So when you're appreciating everything in your life, you move into a higher vibration and the universe can step in. So you don't have to fear your fear. You can use it as a way to get closer to love, to get closer to the light, to experience things in a higher way. And you do that through the appreciation. It dissolves all blocks and it creates the way. It dissolves all blocks to the presence of your super attractive power. When you feel good and when you're operating in bliss, the universe will open all those doors. And the penguins are showing you that you are stepping into your emperor energy, that you are ready, that you are strong. And your true safety lies in your capacity to align with the love of the universe. So in other words, when you align with who you truly are and you make decisions from love, not fear, then you'll feel truly safe and the lies will go away because you'll be living authentically and speaking your truth and having all the magical things that you've dreamed of. And that's what they need you to know. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.